Today I will show you how to make a YouTube view and subscriber counter in five easy steps. Let's begin. Step one, gather the resources. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is buy an ESP32 board as well as the MX7219 display board. Depending on your design, you may need to buy wood, acrylic, and screws. In my case, I had all of the items lying around, but if you don't have them, that's okay. All of the links will be in the description for you to go get your own. And before we go to step number two, I have already created my view and subscriber counter. So make sure to smash that subscribe button so I can see it live. Step number two, connect the pieces. So we're gonna to wanna to connect the ESP32 board to the display board. And this is relatively simple. We're gonna use female to female cables that should come with the display board. And here is the table for you to be able to match the display board to the ESP32. Step three, time to program. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do for this step is download the Arduino IDE. This is gonna be the development environment to which we can run the code and post to the actual ESP32. Luckily, you won't have to do any programming. I've done it all for you. So to get that code, just go into the description and go to the Git repository. There should be four files. One file will be the font, which I grabbed from a YouTuber named The Swedish Maker. Big thanks to him. Second is a secrets folder, which will contain four values that we'll change later. One is the code or the program itself, which you won't need to do anything with. And the fourth file will be hand-drawn designs that I've made to help you create this box. So in the secrets folder, we will replace four values. First, replace the API key with one of your own. To get the API key, go to https colon slash slash console.cloud.google.com. Create a new project. Then go to API and services and click on library. Type YouTube V3 in the search bar. Then click on YouTube V3 and enable. After it is enabled, click manage and then go to the credentials. Click create credentials and then help me choose. Select YouTube data API V3 and public data. Then click Next and then copy the API key and click Done. The second value is to then replace the channel ID with your own. To get your channel ID, go to YouTube, go to Settings, and then Advanced Settings. Last, replace your internet information, which is its name and password. After that's all done, you're gonna to wanna to install any required libraries for the ESP32, and then we're gonna to wanna to post to the ESP32. When you are pushing the code to the ESP32, you will need to hold on to the boot button that you'll find located on the ESP32 board. Now we should see our channel statistics. The channel statistics will switch from views and subscribers every 10 seconds. Now, if you know a bit about coding, you can go into my program and change that from 10 seconds to whatever you would like, but as default, it is set to 10 seconds. One thing I've noticed is that there is a delay for views from YouTube of about 24 hours, but subscribers will instantly update. Step four, it's building time. Now let's create the case. I'll be using a two x four that I had lying around, which I'll grab three individual pieces from. One will be the back plate, the second one will be the middle hollowed piece, and the third will be the front hollowed piece that will actually contain the front screen. I will also need a piece of acrylic, which I've actually linked in the description from Etsy. Make sure to get a dark tint one or a smoky one if you want it to match mine. You will also need some sort of wood stain as well to finish the project. I had some Verathane Ultimate Wood uh, Golden Oak stain just lying around, so that's what I used on this guy. As mentioned earlier, I'll be referencing the design that I created, and so make sure to print that off and reference it yourself. Now we're gonna play a little bit of a montage of me building the actual product. Enjoy.
Step five, the fun part, assembly. Now that we have all the pieces cut and mostly put together, it's time to add the finishing touches. There you have it, five easy steps on how to make your own YouTube view and subscribe counter. Please reach out if you got stuck at any moment during this video. And whilst you're at it, why don't you click one of these?